In continuation of his visits to delegates and ward S schools across various local government areas in Delta State, Frontline Delta 2023 gubernatorial aspirant Ulorogu Kenneth Bagi has paid a consultation visit to inform S schools of Indokwa East PDP of his ambition to run for governorship in Delta 2023 elections. Bagi, who just recently completed consultations across Delta Central Senatorial Districts and a few from Delta South, commenced his consultation in Delta North as Ndokwa East played host to the ever popular aspirant so generally accepted across the state. Leaders and top functionaries from different strata in the society, all drumming support for Bagi, were all present, and some of whom spoke during the meeting called on Ndokwa East delegates, ably led by local government PDP chairman. Honorable Vincent Osoloya to, as a matter of necessity, key into the Gbagi industrialization mantra as he, Gbagi, remains the best amongst all aspirants. I think I just cannot know. We know the time we are in now. We are aware of the good works of our dear governor, Senator Dr. Fan Yokoa. Where he has stopped, we now ask ourselves what do we need to move forward? Do we need a man that will come and take us backward? To no. where we were before, no. or we need a man that will take us there. Yeah. We have an industrialist, <laughs> a business, a business mogul, a successful businessman who is going to take over from Equemer of Africa. Yeah. <laughs> uh, who is that person? Daddy. Daddy. That is the core. <laughs> Of Delta State. Is it not so? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> he has ruled very well. And when you are going to hand over, you don't hand over to a mediocrity. You hand over to somebody who can take care of that position and start from where you stop. Is it not so? Yes. Otherwise, when you hand over to somebody who will have a dwindling capacity, the government will be reduced. But when you hand over to people like Igbagi, I think they will start from where Okowa stopped and better it than ever. We have over 75 professors lined up behind Kenneth Bagi. Because Bagi is the solution. In fact, in the university these days, we talk Bagi, we teach Bagi, we eat baggy. <laughs> so when they tell you different stories about baggy, they are all lies. They are already dreaming that they are in government house. They have already even started sharing positions today and all that. We tell you that those dreams they are dreaming, those dreams are frivolous dreams. Those dreams are eccentric, they are demonic. They are volatiles, mm. full of inedious and mm. personal act of vengeance. Uh, 70% they behind the man. Baggy, now nah, first when you don't elect, God don't ordain now. Anybody that only chant like this, you go go to the promised land. I have brought a good lesson. And the Holy Spirit. In the symphony message, yeah, from this day, think for Baggy. We will think for Baggy. We will speak for Baggy. We will order his success. We will direct his hands. Olorogu Kenneth Bagi, during his speech, spoke highly of Governor Ifani Okoa, admonishing his meritorious works in Delta State and called on Undokwa East to support him as he is ready to follow in the footsteps of the Roadmaster and industrialized Delta. In fact, if not because of the character of the man like Okoa, I will not be campaigning that I want to be governor. Because you will not see the end. We have all experienced it before. The man has character. And you people should congratulate yourself that the man from your zone, the man from your zone, 
has given Delta State a direction. <laughs> As I've told other local government, what you people should be doing now is to come together. Not money you will see today and chop and finish. Is to come together and think of what will better this land. The kind of government I will run by the grace of God is one that is local government based. The good thing is you people should be happy because God has given you enough raw materials, a lot on the ground for you to tap and use for the good and greatness of your people. So were you to partnership with me, it's a win-win situation. I'm an industrialist. I know what industry can bring. I, and he knows, I, I have no business in the true local politics. What I'm interested in is turn all my youths from the streets back to employment. So the first program I have is to emancipate my youth from the streets of death. Whatever I say by the grace of God, I will do my part. Having listened to Gbagi, Honorable Vincent Osoloya prayed for the industrialists and affirmed that Gbagi is right for Delta and that he would make it to the government house in Asaba come 2023. I want to specially congratulate you. When I saw the cream de la cream that was screened by the DC-23 and you came out among the three, I felt that it's a very big feat and therefore on behalf of Nopa's PDP, I wish to congratulate you. And I want to also say that you are a good product. Mm. That is why you emerge among the three that were chosen. Um, there is no doubt that when you get there, you will do well. I also want to thank you for taking time to speak so well about our amiable governor. And we are also very happy that when you get there, our mommy, Delta North, will be the first lady. We know to that when you get there, Ndokwa is, we see the light of the day. But just because our governor, our father, our leader in Delta North is doing so well, we have graciously asked him to please, because we don't want your legacies to to be wiped away or to be forgotten easily. We want somebody who will raise the bar or sustain the legacy. Therefore, look at the avalanche of aspirants. You know those, or you know the person who the cap fits. Ndokwa is this is Rero TV, and I am Akbarero Henry Akbos. Thank you for watching.